Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this video, we're going to be learning how to combine multiple shaders to produce a simple and efficient effect without ever opening up the shader files to combine them. Now, the demo that I have in front of me is a small animated character, and it's using this simple technique to combine both a grayscale shader and an outline shader together without modifying the shader code. Let's switch over to the demo project and have a look. I have an object player, which I also have a sprite assigned to it. This sprite is pretty small, so I'm currently upscaling my sprite by four times by using the image X scale and image Y scale. If I run the demo project as is, nothing has changed and you'll see the character is just being animated and we don't have anything else. Let's close the project and start applying the shaders to this object. We currently have two shaders that we're going to be using. The first shader is a grayscale shader, and then we have an outline shader. I'm very sure I've already covered the outline shader on the channel, but for the grayscale shader, this one's actually coming from the Game Maker manual itself, so you can find all the information there. Now, without actually touching any of these shader files, we're going to use a simple technique to combine them together. First, let's go and overwrite the draw event for the player. We're going to be using the draw sprite extended version. Here, we can pass in the sprite index, the image index, the X and Y location, our image X and image Y scale. We'll then have our rotation, the image blend, and the image alpha. So let's check to make sure that we're back on track. Let's run our game and we should see our animated character and it is in color. Now let's switch back and apply the first shader. We're going to be using the grayscale shader first because we don't need to pass any information in. Now, if you haven't dealt with shaders before, there's a few rules that we need to follow first. Inside of our sprite, you can currently see that I have lots of padding around the sprite. If you plan on moving the UV coordinates by adding a wave effect or something, you'll definitely want to have some spacing all around. The other thing that we need to make sure is if we go up to the tools menu, we need to select the texture groups. Now, let's select the sprite and ensure that the automatic cropping is unchecked. If we don't have this turned off, then GameMaker will not respect the spacing around our sprite. And there's a good chance that your shader will start showing other sprites. So just make sure that you follow these two rules. Now, back inside the player, let's set up the shader. First, we need to tell GameMaker to use the shader, and to do that, we will use a shader set function. Here, we'll pass in the shader file, and then the next thing we need to do is draw the sprite, which we already have. Since we changed the shader, we now need to use a shader reset. This is going to tell GameMaker to draw everything else as normal. Now let's run our game and make sure that the grayscale effect is being applied. Perfect. Now we can actually close this and start working on the outline shader. Again, we have to use the shader set command, and this time I'll pass in the shader for the outline. This shader also takes a little bit of information. I'm not going to go through everything here, but we're basically getting the width and the height of our sprite, and now we need to pass it into the shader. I didn't create a pointer for the shader, so we're going to use a shader set uniform F, and now inside of that, we will use a shader get uniform. Here, we need to pass in our outline shader, and then the variable that we want to access within the shader. And in this case, we need the in texel. Next, we can pass in the width and the height of our sprite. Finally, let's reset the shader so everything should be drawn as is. Also, let's run our game and let's see what happens. Alright, so we have the grayscale shader, but we don't really see the outline shader. This is because GameMaker can only apply one shader at a time, so we're going to use this simple technique to save a ton of time. To make this work, we're going to use a surface in order to combine the two shaders. The trick here is that the number of shaders that you want to combine minus one is going to be the number of surfaces you need to create, or you can reuse and recycle them as needed. But for now, in the create event, let's create a surface variable. We'll set that surface variable to negative one. Now in the draw event, we always have to check to see if the surface exists. Remember, surfaces are volatile. That means that GameMaker can destroy our surface even if we don't ask it to. That's all right because we can easily do this with a simple if statement. If our surface doesn't exist, 
Then what we want to do is create the surface. Now we need to tell GameMaker that we need to draw on this particular surface by using a surface set target. Now for the shaders, let's grab the grayscale shader and apply it first. After that, we can reset our surface because we do not need to draw on it anymore. We will keep the outline shader below, but instead of drawing the sprite, we're going to draw the surface inside of the shader. So in here, let's add a draw surface. We will pass in our surface and the X and Y coordinates. Coming back up to the block above, let's clean up our surface by adding a draw clear alpha and setting the color to black and an alpha is zero. Finally, instead of drawing the sprite at the X and Y locations, our surface starts at zero, zero, so we need to start there in order to draw it. Now let's run our game and hopefully you can see what I have on my screen. I have both the grayscale shader and the outline shader being applied. It's really that simple. We didn't have to touch any of the shader code and we have both of them working. I hope you found this technique useful and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching. Thank you all for making it to the end of the video. A special thanks to all my Patreon supporters for supporting me and the channel. A special shout out to the following Patreon users in no particular order. Helna, Sapikai, Thomas, Game Maker Community, Midnight, Patrick, Full Hollow, Matthew, Jujub84, Sean, Victor, and Mika. Once again, thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out the Patreon page found in the description below.